How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So as you can see here, I have completed the entire battle pass for season six. And no, I did not buy the tiers. I actually just leveled up and completed the missions. And as you can see, I've, I've completed all the missions and well ahead of schedule. We still have three more weeks of missions. So you got plenty of time to complete the battle pass. Don't worry about it if you're not even close. 18 days left as of the recording of this video. But anyways, yeah, I completed it. So we're going to play a few games today with Fangweld's Heart Ember, the epic skin on the gold track for this battle pass. A very cool skin. Animated weapons, animated hair flowing in the wind. She's got like a butterfly on her horn thing. I mean, it's very cool looking skin. And not only that, she has custom signature graphics as well, which you guys will see when I'm fighting. Uh, real quick, we can go... You know, look at some of these colors for Fangwell's Heart Ember. Most of these look really, really, really good on her. And she does have a custom lock-in animation, as you can see there. Uh, boom. So you get to see the bow. Very, very cool. Um, so, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and jump into a game. I think I'm going to start it out with Gold Forge colors. Because, in my opinion, they look the best on this skin. And, yeah. If you guys like the jit... <laughs> if you guys like the video, please go ahead and drop a like. And let's jump into it three two one brawl. all right here we go first match with fangwell's heart ever let's go uh, for some reason my taunts aren't working right now i have them unbound from my right stick and i use the uh keyboard to taunt and for some reason every now and then it glitches and i can't taunt at all so i'm gonna be using a lot of ember signatures here to show off these amazing custom signature graphics on Fang Wild Heart Ember. Even the down sig looks pretty cool. I'm trying to hit him, but I can't get the down sig. Okay, he jumped over. I love the golden, like, spirit wolf on the side sig. And then, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Not like this. Not like this. Yeah. This guy is out for blood. The neutral sig there. Ah, uh, the... The way the raven looks, or whatever that bird is, is like, again, a golden spirit animal. Even on the Qatar neutral sig, they added so much flair. Okay, I jumped right into that. Not again, Cross. Not again. Let me know if there's anybody out there who mains Ember in the audience. I know that Ember is a pretty popular character. I've actually always liked playing Ember. I mean, she has bow and Qatar's. And her sigs are really, really good. So the only downside about Ember is her defense is pretty low. So you have to be careful not to get hit too much. But she more than makes up for it, in my opinion, with how OP her sigs are. Especially the bow neutral sig. That one right there, it covers such a really big hitbox. It comes out very fast. And it's very hard to punish. Ooh, I sniped him right in the face. Um, so yeah, the neutral sig don't feel bad if you use it a lot, especially if they're in red. But as you saw there, even when they're not, like if you have an opportunity where that hip, they're in that hitbox, just do it. Because if you're not using Ember signatures, uh, in my opinion, you're not really utilizing her to her strength. She doesn't have a lot of defense, like I said. So I'm just showing off the guitar sigs here, not really even trying to hit with it, but... I just wanted to see that side sig and down sig. They, they have a, a little bit of flair, even though they're kind of basic moves. Oh, come on. I want to hit with that down sig or side sig. Oh, whatever. That works too. GG, dude. GG. On to the next Three, game. All two, right. This time we're going one, against a uh, Ragnir, the one man wonder. Should be called the one dragon wonder. <laughs> actually, I don't know. He looks like a dragon, but in this form, he's actually mechanical, like a machine. So is he a dragon or a machine? I don't know. He's a machine-looking dragon. A dragon-looking machine. Either way. But yeah, Ember, I mean, like like I said, you can rack up the damage fairly easily with Katars and Bow without using signatures, for sure. But, like, a killing blow um, on Katars is kind of hard unless you hit a side air or recovery or ground pound. And then on Bow, a killing blow is a little bit easier, maybe. Like, you can kill even with Bow light attacks. But you don't need to with Ember because of her insanely strong signatures. Especially neutral sig and side sig are really, really good on Ember Bow. 
You don't want to use them too, too much. Otherwise, it'll leave yourself open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that down sig was so perfect. Um, but yeah. She's got a perfectly balanced kit. Like, use the bow for long-ranged attacks. And use the katars for up close and personal. You know, she can do it all. Uh, I got too greedy on that ground pound. I wanted to get a ground pound. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Through, there goes that stock. An axe neutral light. Unlike katars, axe is easy to kill with light attacks. Like, super easy. But it is an axe. It's as you'd expect. Mm, this guy is he's pretty uh, good at, like, just... I don't want to say being passive, but he's definitely, like, very patient. He only takes attacks when he thinks he can get it. And when he's not attacking, he's kind of just keeping his space. Not wanting to get too close. And waiting for me to attack and then punishing. Okay, that I landed poorly there and he punished. I don't know. I think he might be better with the guitars than the axe. He's actually doing a lot of damage with these guitars, but... Ragnar is a really good legend. I think Ragnar is just as equally... Oh, <laughs> I keep killing him down that death pit. But yeah, I think Ragnar is just as good as Ember. Like, they both have guitars, and then the bow and axe are just as good, in my opinion. It's so... As far as signatures go, I don't know. I might give the nod to Ember, but Ragnar has some pretty good sigs too. Axe neutral sig is really, really good. His axe side sig and down sig aren't the best. His Qatar sigs are okay. The Qatar side sig is good, and the down sig and neutral sig are okay, but overall, I think Ember just has better signatures. But I do think that the axe might be slightly better overall than the bow, just because of how easy you can kill with light attacks. Um... But that being said, I actually have more fun playing with the bow. It's just a fun weapon to play. I don't know. This dude is uh, definitely testing our patience. That was really dumb. I don't know why I did a side sig there. I was trying to do a neutral sig, really, but the side sig came out. And honestly, he's kind of shredding me with light attacks. So I'm hesitant to do any sigs because he's punishing well. But now that he's in red, let's just kill with the neutral sig. Like, I'll show you guys how easy you can kill with the bow neutral sig. Okay, maybe not. Oh my, that was almost death for me. He's almost dead. Like, one good hit. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, still alive. One more neutral sig and he will die. Promise. Watch, watch, watch. It, it's almost unblockable. Boom. See? <laughs> GG, dude. GG. I feel bad, like, spamming neutral sig, but... It's in the game. I'm just using it as intended. Like, you can use SIGs as much as you want. It, it, it's supposed to leave you open, you know, if you miss. But with Ember Bow Neutral SIG, it, it only leaves you open barely. I mean, for a small amount of time. See, I miss a SIG and he punishes. You got to be good at punishing SIGs if you don't want to get dominated by SIGs. A lot of people ask how to beat SIG spammers. You have to get good at recognizing the startup animation, how it looks before the attack comes out, basically, when they're winding up to do the signature. And you have to be able to punish it. And obviously, neutral sig is very fast, like I said, so. But Artemis has Scythe and Lance. Very good weapons. He's pretty good at dodging the sigs, but boom, look at that. The hitbox is just ridiculous. Oh, that, yep. Lance is a very good weapon, and so is Scythe. Scythe is one of the best weapons in the game. Lance, not so much, but Artemis has really good Lance signature, especially side sig and neutral sig on Lance are just insane. Especially side sig. I would rather fight his uh, Scythe than his Lance. Lance is just annoying. Scythe is annoying too, but I've placed a lot of Scythe myself. So I kind of know what they're doing. I guess I play a lot of every weapon, but... <laughs> How is he dodging that? See what I mean? It can be dodged. But you got to be a pro like this guy. I was hoping he would jump into that. Like, they, they have to be 
really careful. If he knows that I'm fishing for for a neutral sig on Ember Bow and he, he understands like the hitbox, he kind of knows where to be to avoid it. Oh man. I don't think he was expecting that ground pound. I, I, I wasn't even expecting it. I just went for it right in the moment. I wasn't sure if I was going to hit it. And it felt so good when I did. All right, he's on final stock. We are in red on second. I'm just gonna shred him up with these guitars, get him into red. Oof, almost got him there. Probably wouldn't have killed anyway though. Dude, I can't hit the guitar sigs like at all today. All right, final socks. We're doing so good. Uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, I'm not like a Ember main or anything, but like I said, I do like playing Ember. If you're wondering like, oh, well, you're not an Ember man. Why do you have black colors with Ember? I have black colors with literally every legend in the game, except for Ezio now, um, because he's new. My Ezio, oh, GG dude, GG. Again, neutral sig. Uh, my Ezio, I think is level 21 or 22. So I'm working on it, but I, I still like playing other legends. Oh, my taunts are working again. All right, well, here's the cheerleader taunt. I've been wanting to show you for a while. We're going against, uh, Oh man, I forget her name. Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. Katars versus Katar. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Throw the Katars away. Fist versus paw. Never mind. Get that bow back. Dude, that was a perfect dodge. I thought he would dodge in. It's like, you might as well use the neutral Sega bow because, like I said, it's just like you almost can't get punished for using it. However, I don't want to be like a sig spamming jerk and literally only use that. And besides, it's not really that fun to only use one move. It's it's more fun to be stylish and use a, a string of attacks. Or just let them do that <laughs> to themselves. <laughs> I don't even think I touched it. Maybe I did. I don't remember, but... Alright. That's, that's a good start for me. I'm using the Soulfire colors this time, if you're wondering. It's from Battle Pass Season 1. So I don't think you can get these colors ever again, but... Oh, come on. I thought I was going to ground pound that perfectly. But I guess the side sig hitbox goes up and above even. All right. He's doing a good job weapon starving. I'm going to show him I don't need that weapon. Nope, never mind. I, I still don't need that weapon, though. I, I would do damage unarmed if I have to. All right. I'll take it now. This is a really fun skin to play. Okay. I finally hit a Katar Sig. It was kind of weird, but it, it counts. Let me know, guys, if you would like me to do, like, a strikeout with all epic Battle Pass skins. I know there's six epic Battle Pass skins now, so we'd have to do two different strikeout teams. The first three Battle Pass and the second three Battle Pass, because we've had six now. That would be fun. Oh, I almost went for that ground pound. I mean, I almost got it. Oh, oh, oh. He did. GG, dude. GG. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed some Fang Wild Heart Ember action. It was really fun. Thank you to all my opponents for the good games. And uh, yeah, let me know which color is your favorite for Fang Wild Heart Ember. Is this your favorite Ember skin? I mean, she does have a lot of awesome skins. She's got a meta dev. She's got... Uh, Walking Dead crossover. I mean, Ember's got some really cool skins. She got the Holly Jolly. Let me know. As always, this is Lucian Sword, guys. Let me know who you would like to see in the next video. As always, take it easy, friends.